Beloved in Christ, you know at one time God's chosen people who are the Jews considered the Gentiles to be dogs. Um, even Jesus himself made reference to that uh, fact. And God even considered the Gentiles to be even worse than that. Uh, they were enemies of God. But what made us become possible of being right with God is simply through the blood of Jesus. Not through trying to keep the commandments uh, or keep the ordinances of God because they were never given to the Gentiles. So it amazes and befuddled me when Gentiles do their very best to try to get close to God through the keeping of His commandments and through the ordinances that were never given to them. Why they put such a burden on them rather than simply following the Spirit of God that now dwelleth and living in them? Beloved, I have not the slightest idea. Glory be to God. Beloved, the Jews and the Christians can now be one, and that is through the blood of Jesus alone. God's word says in Ephesians 2 and 15, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, Jesus have abolished in his flesh the enmity. What is enmity? Deep-rooted hatred. Even the law of commandments contained in the ordinances for to make in himself twain or two or create one new man so by making peace between the Jew and the Gentile. Beloved, Jesus abolished or took away the imitate, the deep hatred of that they had for one another by his flesh on the cross. You remember uh, uh, Paul sharing with the Corinthian church when they were all in uh, uh, fighting about who were baptized by certain disciples and, and Paul said, I thank God that I baptized none of you. But he said this, I care nothing except Jesus Christ and him crucified. All else is addendums to that fact of Jesus Christ being crucified. That's what broke down the wall of the vision that allowed the Jew and the, and the Christians to become one as the church who now is the body of Christ. Jesus never abolished the commandment, but rather he fulfilled them. Not for the Gentiles, because the Gentiles were never giving them, but for the Jews, that the Jews could now trust in Jesus rather than their ability to keep the commandments, to keep the ordinances of Almighty God, or the law, which as we said before, there's over 600 laws and ordinances and commandments in God's Word. And the Jew was required to keep every one of them in order to fulfill the righteousness that God sought for. The Gentiles did not have that because it was not given to them. That's why our trust is in Jesus Christ alone and following the Holy Spirit of God, which will teach us and lead us into all righteousness. Now, two have become one 
Only Christians can acknowledge and love the Jew truly. There's no other religion, there's no other just race of people can actually love the Jew in truth except a Christian who has been born again. He can love the Jew with a sincere heart because they have been connected by Jesus Christ and his blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary, who now make the Jew and the Christian one as in the church. Beloved, the Jew cannot get in glory by simply being a Jew, but rather because of his connection and his belief in the blood and the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, be blessed in Jesus' name.